Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. Today has been one of those days. <laughs> It's one of those days that really challenges you and makes you wonder if it was a right decision to go on this entrepreneurial journey and carry on. So let me explain. A Royal Mail is currently in possession of about 500 of my parcels and for some reason they do not want to deliver them. It is really, really frustrating when this happens and actually this happened before when we moved to our first office and it happened again when we moved our second office here. So it seems like some parcels have been delivered but majority have not been delivered and that includes some of the craft boxes which we have sent out on Friday last week and on as today when I'm recording this it's Tuesday they have still not been delivered and we have sent them first class I'd rather I'm using call with uh, Royal Mail um, and with a lady uh, I, who a lady I spoke with she really should not be working in the uh, complaints department and I say that with a full conscience I never really want to bash any company any service and and realistically Royal Mail is still one of the most reliable uh, ways to to get the post delivered but when things go wrong they just go on and wrong on a massive scale and then you have a massive mess ups like this and and you know and when you call customer service and you're on hold for half an hour to try to get to uh to an agent and then you get someone who um just really has absolutely no clue and has not even been trained in systems and then say if someone who says there's nothing wrong with your account and you realize you never gave them your account number, then there is a problem. So uh, thankfully, I am big enough sender to have my own account manager who I contacted to ask what on earth is going on. So we will find out soon. I'm not gonna let this get me down. Um, and we're trying to obviously communicate with our customers as much as we can um, and respond to all the questions promptly. Um, but the, at the moment, we just have to wait to see what is gonna go, what is happening. Um, I have seen some of the parcels that we sent um, being delivered, so there's hope. And I think what is happening in general is that because, A, it's coming to Christmas, B, the surge of online shopping, obviously, there's a huge surge on um, online shopping. And a lot of people shop online because they have no choice and we are in lockdown. So you can't just go somewhere and buy yourself whatever you would like to buy. So everything is just being delivered. So obviously couriers and, and specifically Royal Mail are under enormous strain. And I do understand that. And also, um, you know, there's a shortage of stuff due to pandemic and a lot of uh, people are working from home. So I do appreciate that as well. Although I have to say, I do, it does start to really rub me the wrong way. The whole concept of making excuses um, for, especially when it comes to customer service, making excuses um, and, and justifying the complete lack of contactability with uh you know making justifying it with with uh the virus it really really frustrates me example i am waiting on a shelf for our crickets our cutting machines i'm waiting for a shelf it was supposed to be delivered by ikea on 11th um they have showed up really really early we were not open then so they have taken the shelf and said they will call us now today is 17th when i'm recording that and i will yet have been i have not been contacted by ikea it, you know, I understand. It's kind of my fault. Maybe that wasn't in the office at 7 a.m. So I've been trying to contact them since to try to understand when they can re-deliver. Their phone lines hang up on you because they are too busy. On so, so the service is suspended, so you can't call them. The chat is switched off. There is no email address you can contact. The only option through which you can contact IKEA is actually... Um, send them a tweet which I have done a couple of days ago and I still have not heard so and all that is justified with uh with uh, COVID now forgive me but if there is such a huge demand on IKEA services uh, then clearly IKEA is doing quite well and perhaps hiring more people and helping people who um who have not been 
um, you know, fortunate enough to keep a job and giving people opportunity to get a job in the customer service um, role, any other role that needs fulfilling because of the demand would be the right thing to do. Uh, just an idea. So rather than scaling down services, if you're doing so well that you can't cope with the demand, scale up. Whilst I have you here, I'm going to show you something we are really seeing today. A really, really long time ago, we used to, we used to do uh, treasure tins and we used to do all sorts of different treasure tins. And I have this gorgeous, super, super ornate treasure box and it is filled with the most beautiful charms. Just check these out. Let's have a look at that. Hello, everybody. I haven't really finished the... Uh vlog in the office and ended up leaving and having dinner and basically that was it but <clears throat> i am home now and i'm currently sitting down and working on my etsy shop now i don't know if many of you knew we had etsy we did uh we do actually uh it has i never really cracked etsy i had much more success with uh running my own website and uh and and working with social media rather than uh working with uh like a platform um like etsy or ebay etc etc so um but what i'm thinking of doing because we are going to be uh, looking at uh, releasing uh, quite a few from quite a few things from the uh, paper kit range. So the new paper pads, which actually I'm going to show you a really sneaky sneaky peek at one of them, is this new paper pads, like a stationary paper pad. And we're going to be doing stickers and stuff because we have all the machine for stickers, and sometimes they just sit idle. So it would be a really good idea to use them for uh for you know for creating some other things so i think what i'm going to do i'm going to rework my etsy shop to be like a sticker stationery shop don't worry all those things will still be available from our website at craftbox and then um and then yeah and there will be no other products on etsy because as i said i think we had like 21 orders uh in the last two years whilst on our website we are nearing sixty thousand orders since we started so and that is what I'm thinking of. That's what that is what I'm going to be working on. Let me show you some cheeky sneak peeks. So this is what I'm waiting for delivery of. Um, this whole note notepad, which oh, I'm so excited, I cannot explain. Uh, basically, I have. So as you know, I have purchased a um, a, a notebook um, on paper pad actually. Notepad, notepad. I need to get into the whole stationary terms. I purchased a notepad, like a girl boss notepad, and it's lovely and I'm using it, which is great. But firstly, I am a big sucker for good quality paper, so I wanted a little bit of thicker paper. And secondly, I wanted nice pastel design, like a really gorgeous feminine, you know, like a beautiful girl boss design. So this is what I've created. And this is going to be available on our website and it's going to be available on Etsy. And I think I'm going to, uh, you know, promote it on Etsy as well, just to see if I can finally crack that platform. It's a bit of an experiment, you guys. Now, if you look here, <clears throat> I have created a little sticker pandas uh, or panda stickers, rather. Um, this is a little misaligned because I am uh, working on, on getting like another column of pandas. So... These we have trialed today on different types of paper, like a sticker paper, vinyls, matte vinyl, glossy vinyl, normal sticker paper, matte sticker paper, glossy sticker paper, clear sticker paper, everything. And it looks beautiful on matte vinyl. So we're going to be selling them on matte vinyl. It looks to die for and um, we're going to be selling basically sets of stickers and we're also going to have like a girl boss set and that's what i'm going to be working on today i'm so pumped with ideas at the moment i love stationery so i'm going to be working on getting these into the uh into the range into paper cute range um so yeah so that is what i'm going to be doing tonight so that is it everyone i'm going to sign off for the day uh it's been an interesting day as i said um hopefully tomorrow is just going to be a little bit easier but i'll see you again tomorrow